Continuing our coverage of the standoff in eastern Oregon, the FBI has made more arrests from the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. Several vehicles were also seen leaving that area. Before she went to breaking news, Kelsey McFarland filed this report. The FBI says three protesters turned themselves in without incident at the checkpoint outside the refuge. They now face a federal felony count of conspiracy to impede officers of the United States from discharging their official duties through the use of force, intimidation or threats. Our Sinclair sister station in Portland also reports that the FBI says several vehicles also left the refuge before the checkpoints were set up early Wednesday morning. Ammon Bundy, who is currently in custody, asked his attorney to read a statement on his behalf. To those remaining at the refuge, I love you. Let us take this fight from here. Please stand down. Please stand down. Go home and hug your families. A federal judge ordered the eight defendants previously arrested to stay in federal custody until their second hearing tomorrow. None of the defendants entered a plea. It's unclear how many occupiers are still left at the refuge. Now what? Where does it go from here? Echoes of last night's shooting near Burns are being heard across state borders. Callers had a wide range of ideas on the Nate Shellman show last night about the situation. Many on both sides say they hoped for a peaceful resolution. I'm kind of worried about the ripple effect that this has created. Well, I think this is, it's not good that this man was shot, but it's good that these things are coming out. Most say they know a solution won't come overnight. The president of the group, 3% of Idaho, is reportedly back in Burns as a result of the violence.